up for sale. This is 1982 Cadillac Brome. This is probably one of the cleanest Bromes I've ever seen. It just turned 40,000 miles. It's a one owner car. We have the original 1992 title issue for the car with 40 miles on the title. The car is all original, never in any accidents, no paint work done. The original owner of the car, baby, this car was always maintained. It was, it was every year it was detailed. The paint in the car shines like glass. There's very, very, very few, very minor blemishes on the car. Nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, the car just is so straight. It's probably the cleanest brome out there. And it's quite special too, because this is, this is the last year for the full body of brome. In 93, the bromes got shorter. They were a front wheel drive. This is the last year for the, the uh, old style Cadillac long bodied uh, wheelbase. And last year for the uh, rear wheel drive and the big V8 under the hood. It has a five liter V8 engine. So it's a very special car. If you're in the market for a Brome, you're looking for, looking for a nice one, it's hard to find one in this original condition. Okay. I'm going to do two, two videos of the car. This first part, we're going to take you for a walk around the car, show you the, the exterior. We'll go on the car, we'll start it up, and just show you some of the interior and all that stuff. And the second part will be a test drive. So we'll get started. Okay. Just walking around the car. On the tip of the bumper here, I know it's a little bit of... Uh, the silver paint came off the molding just, just on the corner of it that's the only spot I notice otherwise the front of this car looks new I didn't see any other, other blemishes all the chrome all the lights look perfect there's no uh, chips on the paint from being driven no road chips Cadillac emblem looks brand new there's no dings in the hood any of the panels I mean they all just look so straight all the molding and trim is perfect. And on the side of it as well, I don't see any anything really to point out. There's a small little teeny scratch here. It's more than my fingernail. Right by the uh, lock on that door. And honestly, I think that's really it for like the front and the whole side of this car. The car is so straight. The Brome emblems are pleasant on the back. They didn't... Uh, fall off the um, final top is a perfect shape there's no rips no tearing no separating of the seams which is common on these cars this car being a garage car and it was in a heated garage never happened the fillers on this car are original they'll never replace and they don't have to be there perfect there's no cracking no fading nothing they look brand new all the chrome looks brand new on this car it's like mirror finish this uh, filler as well. Cadillac crest on the back looks like brand new. Okay. Trunk is perfect. Okay. Let's see if I could just for a second bend down here and show you the bottom of this car. That's the bottom of this car. That's how this car looks underneath. It looks brand new. Matter of fact, I had this car at the mechanic shop and he was amazed by the car. He said, what's this car stored in the bubble? There's no rust under this car at all. It was parked in a heated climate controlled garage. There is no rust, no rot, nothing. Hey, okay, down the side of the car. I don't see anything at all. I mean, it's just the car is so straight. I mean, that's really the only glimpses I see with it. All the cladding is here, all the moldings are here. This car has miles and miles of moldings. A lot of times they fall off and stuff, but it's all here. Aqua lights are here and they do work. Hey, okay, top's in great condition. All the reefs are here on the car. Car was always driven. It has a current New York State inspection sticker, good till April of 2019. So it was being used. It wasn't a car that someone parked in the garage for 30 years and forgot about and um didn't maintain the car was always in the road always being driven and as you know with cars motion is lotion so i mean i hate using the word perfect but for a car uh, you know 22 years old wait a minute 26 years old 
it's pretty close to it. Open the interior up. Door panels look perfect. Seats look perfect, everything. Okay. I want to show you too, the car does have two keys. There's the original Cadillac Gold Wreath keys and the guy has stole the uh, aftermarket alarm. So the only thing on the car that's aftermarket is the alarm and it works. It'll open the doors, lock them, see all the locks work on the car. So you got two sets of keys, both the original keys, and you get two aftermarket alarm pads. So I'm gonna the car up for you real quick. She starts right up on a dime. 40,113 miles. Unbelievable, right? Everything on the car works. All the digital display panels are working. Everything. Radio, everything. We got door lights going on. Overhead dome lights in the glove box. We have the original owner's manuals. Here is the uh, dropped it. The original issued 1992 title for the car, 54 miles on it. It's one owner car. It's the original title right there. Everything on the car just works perfect. I mean, everything, you know, the windows work. Mirrors. Everything. Got that old fashioned horn. Headlights work, wipers work, cruise control works. Okay, well, the original floor mats on the car, they're a little bit dirty. They could use a nice little scrubbing. But um, they're all here. Front and rears. I want to show you something cool too. Pop the trunk. It comes in the back of the trunk. Hold on a second. Okay, all your original labels are there for the trunk. No trunk light even goes on. Spare tires there, jack, trunk mat. But that's not even the cool part of the car. The cool part is this. The uh, original trunk pull down. Still works. It pulls the trunk down so you can just kind of close it lightly and that even still goes on. Okay. I mean the car's remarkable, it really is. Okay. You can kind of hear the engine, how clean, and how smooth it is. Okay. This car was always maintained. Um, just recently we had the AC in the car fully charged, we changed the oil. The alternator on the car was brand new, it's a brand new alternator. And the radiator on the car started to leak a little bit. So we sent the radiator out to a company and we had the original uh, radiator completely rebuilt. And that cost me $500. So, because now all the aftermarket radiators are aluminum and they're plastic and we want the original one in there. So I had the whole entire original radi uh, radiator record. So the car was all original. I want to keep it that way. All right. Um, that will conclude my first part of the video. Stay tuned for the second part of the video, test drive.